CO2 monitoring on the SLE 6000. The SLE 6000 has the facility to measure a patient's end tidal CO2 using an external capnography module. This can determine the CO2 levels in the exhaled breath of both the intubated infant and neonatal patients. The CO2 measurement uses Micropod technology. The Micropod module should be mounted vertically on the rail, located on the side of the ventilator trolley using the supplied holder. To use the Micropod module, plug the cable into the CO2 port on the rear of the SLE 6000. During startup, the LED on the module blinks slowly. The initialization can take up to three minutes. When ready, the LED will remain on continuously. Once initialization is complete, slide open the CO2 input shutter and connect the appropriate sampling line. There are various types of sample lines available. Filter line short, filter line long, plus a high humidity Vitaline sample line. The Vitaline sample line has two sections of Nafian tube. One should be placed inside the incubator high humidity environment and one outside for optimal operation. Insert the sampling line connector into the patient circuit. This should be between the flow sensor and the ET tube. Once the sample line is connected, the micropod will start to search for breaths. When valid breaths have been detected, the end tidal CO2 value will be displayed on the ventilator in kilopascals or millimeters of mercury, defined in user preferences. Configuration of the ETCO2 module is made by accessing the Utilities menu. This menu enables the user to turn the module and module pump on or off. If you turn the module or the pump off, then monitoring and trend data storage are suspended. The user can also set the time trigger for the No ETCO2 Breath Alarm detection in this menu. To display the capnogram waveform, go to the Layout menu and select the Waveforms button, then the Edit button, and then turn on the ETCO2 waveform and press Confirm. This will add the capnogram waveform to the fourth channel on the screen. If SPO2 is also being monitored, then the waveforms will share the bottom channel. The Micropod module continuously analyzes the gas sampled from the circuit. When it is used with a flow sensor, the ventilator will adjust the patient flow to compensate for the sample removed by the module. The SLE 6000 also provides alarms for the CO2 measurements, which can be viewed and changed by accessing the Alarm tab. The user can set high and low CO2 alarm limits. As previously mentioned, the Breath Not Detected alarm is set in the Utilities menu. Sample lines are single patient use and should be replaced at intervals. Cleaning of the Micropod module can be performed using a cloth moistened with soap and water or various cleaning solutions listed in the Micropod Operator Manual. The SLE 6000 ventilator can be upgraded to add the Oridian Micropod system. The Micropod can be moved between upgraded ventilators to allow the baby with the highest requirements to have continuous ETCO2 monitoring. The system features a very low gas consumption, only 50 milliliters per minute, and ventilator compensation.